Beloved, you are blessed. My name is Paula. Welcome to Feet in Five. This program is designed to boost you, lift you up, and stir your feet in the things of God. Our Bible story and scripture reading is taken from Book of Acts, chapters 9, verses 36 onward to 43. Let's go there right away. In Joppa, there was a disciple named Tabitha. In Greek, her name means Dorcas. She was always doing good, and that's what Dorcas means, always doing good and helping the poor. That's the spiritual meaning of, of Dorcas. It's the Greek word. Tabitha, however, would mean gazelle, like a gabel, gazelle, and that's Hebrew. Tabitha is her, is her Hebrew name. And it's also very interesting. It means a type of deer, a graceful, and, and when you think about a, an animal deer, you think about swift, graceful and peaceful. So this is a type of person, Dorcas, same character. This is the type of woman she was and she was very helpful to the poor and she was a seamstress also. Verse 37, about that time she became sick and died and her body was washed and placed in an upstairs room. Lida was near Joppa. Now Lida, that word refers to Lord or lewd, which refers to an entrance of a city gate. So little simply means the entrance of a city gate. So here it is at the entrance of the city gate in Joppa. Um, Peter, the disciple of, a disciple of Jesus, one of Jesus' Jesus's 12 disciples, was on approaching. So Lydda was near Joppa. So when the disciples heard that Peter was coming to Lydda, near, near to the city gate, they sent two men to him and urged him, Please come at once. Verse 39. Peter went with them, and when he arrived, he was taken upstairs to the room where Dorcas's dead body lay. All the widows stood around him, crying, all the other women folk, and showing him the robes and other clothing that Dorcas had made while she was still with them. So supposedly here Dorcas was a person that so clothing a seamstress. Peter sent them all out of the room. Then he got down on his knees and prayed, turning toward the dead woman. He said, Tabitha, get up. She opened her eyes and seeing Peter, she sat up. He took her by the hand and helped her to her feet. Then he called for the believers, all the people that he had put out of the room. They were in mourning. So they, it was a done deal to them. This woman is dead. This woman who helped us so much and helped the poor and so close to her, she's dead. So they were convinced she's dead. So they were in mourning. And that's why he put them out of the room. We're going to get to those um, wordings in a short while. I want to give you some messages there, you see. So there, then he called for the believers, especially the widows, and presented her to them alive. This became known all over Joppa, and many people believed in the Lord. Peter stayed in Joppa for some time with a tanner named Simon. So Simon was his helper. Now, this is what God is saying to you right now. Pay close attention. Joppa is a good place to be where things in your life is going out and coming in. Now here Joppa is a place. The meaning of the word Joppa, and I love this Bible story because there's a lot of words involved and I could give you the meanings, which will also give you the spiritual meaning of what God is saying to you. Your life right now, you are in, in a place of Joppa. What happens in Joppa? What does Joppa mean? It's a place of beauty and comeliness. It's also a place that carries seaport or airport. So port could also refer to portal, things going out and things coming in. And you see, what this means to you right now, in your life, you're at the place of Joppa. God is getting things out of you, pay attention now, and he's bringing things into you that belong. So he's taking the things that he want out, probably removing certain people, removing you from certain places, removing certain things, cleaning out the clutter, clearing out certain things that don't belong. That's port, that's port. 
that's transportation and he's also bringing in new people he's also bringing in um, new ideas godly ideas he's giving you new revelation and stuff like that things that you did not see before you are now seeing so you are at a job a place and God has sent me to let you know that you are at a portal point shipment air travel where things are coming into your life and things are going out God is dealing with you and you have a reach you have reached a dead place this is where we saw Dorcas died all of a sudden so you have reached whatever is your dead place in your life right now things that mean much to you that that is now dead maybe a bad marriage is it's dead as in dead you are crying in mourning and God has sent me to let you know he's going to resurrect maybe not all but some you know sometimes the, the, the word that is coming to you it may not that word and I'll be very honest to let you know it may not be for every single person that it will happen that way but God knows who is who and he wants me to let you know that that job or place is where he's going to form you in beauty and he's going to form you in his likeness and he's going to straighten you and fix you exactly how he wants you to be and look at this your second point leader is your place of entrance remember i told you it meant lord lord into god's good so there so a gate the entrance of a gate says a lot you are pass you pass through a gate so you can enter or come out and that's also a transition period so here it is you are at your leader in your life your transition period god can do many things in a transitional period we see in the bible often where miracles took place at a city gate not more than once but more than twice and more than three times even jesus healed um near near entrances and even uh, um Paul at one time was it Paul and Silas if i can recall clearly held healed someone at a city gate and now we're seeing Peter in action here also so people got healed and delivered at city gates at the entrances god will send his anointed servant on time to you and raise your dead remember here it is we are seeing where Dorcas is dead and all of a sudden Peter is on entrance to the same city village area where she's dead so that's an on time move there number 4 when you are about to resurrect the impossible this was an impossible situation those women were mourning put all the mourners out of the room so what does that mean when you are going through something impossible in your life i mean it's like really impossible and God spoke to you and he gave you a word by faith. You want to get rid of all family members, neighbors and friends, close confidants and associates and assistants who are around you, who are in mourning. What does that mean, Paula? They just don't believe and they can't see that dead thing is going to raise to life. They can't see this miracle coming to pass for you. So, pass for you. so you have to put them out of the room. Put all the mourners out of your room and a lack of faith or no faith will hinder and stop and block the work of God. Number five, go down on your knees and pray and then get up and call for what you want. Remember the scripture said Peter knelt by the bed first and he began to pray and then he rose up and he said, he called her by her name, he said, get up. And now number six, look at your problem directly, address it by name and identify it. That is what Peter did. He said, Dorcas, get up. So you are to look at your problem directly and address it by name and I, that's identifying it and command it to do what you want. Number seven, speak to whatever is dead and command it to get up in Jesus' name. Number eight, sometimes you have to take people by the hand and help them. He took her by her hand and he helped her up to stand to her feet. And number nine and last point, sometimes God waits for things to get worse so he can show fit forth a miracle and reap many of souls because the scripture said after all the villagers there and people became to believe in jesus christ child of god you are blessed share this message with someone let me pray for you father i pray right now that every dorcas in your life i command your dorcas to rise and get up to life in the mighty name of jesus right now i say rise get up i command the dead marriage 
the dead job, the dead business, the dead situation that you are in, regardless of how long it takes. But now, on assignment, rise. Be blessed, beloved.